Hey everyone, this is Tom from Burmy Bag. I want to do a quick video on uh, coconut coir. I mean, I think there's a lot of misconception on how you use coconut coir and if it's good, if it's bad. Uh, I use it all the time. I mean, I, I love it. I think it's great stuff, but you definitely have to use it properly. Uh, a lot of the worm bins come with a block of coconut coir. But if you mix just coconut coir, put, mix it with the water and put it in for the worms, I just want to show you that it's not the best. The worms don't really care for it hardly at all. Uh, but if you use coconut coir and mix it in with shredded newspaper, shredded cardboard, uh, just all kinds of stuff, use it basically as a supplement to all the other stuff you got. It'll help retain the moisture in the system. And uh, it's, it's really neat that way. So what I did is I took some of this coconut coir and I mixed it up and I made it for it was damp enough that you could wring out uh, several drops of water pretty easily. Then I did the same thing with the bedding that I make. Uh, I have two videos on that. And I made that bedding same, about the same uh, moisture content, pretty close, that you could wring it out. And then what I did is I took this container right here and I put the coconut coir in one half and I put the bedding on the other half and then I throw in a whole tub of worms. Now this has been sitting now for almost two weeks. Uh, I haven't touched it. Every once in a while I would uh, take the newspaper and wet it down, but for the most part I didn't do anything with it. Uh, I wanted to see how the system reacts to how dry it was, the different moisture content, whether the coconut coir dried out more than the, the bedding and just uh, how the worms are doing and how the worms reacted to these two different beddings. Uh, like I said, the bedding that I use probably has about 20%. I mean, I don't measure it really, but if I had to guess, I would say probably about 20% of it is coconut coir. The rest is shredded newspaper, shredded cardboard, shredded white paper. Uh, I do throw a little bit of alfalfa meal in it uh, for a nitrogen source and uh, oyster shell dust or eggshells and coffee grounds. Uh, so there's a good mixture of stuff in it, but uh, in the coconut coir I put in here, it's just coconut coir. So again, I just wanted to show you how the worms react to both those mediums. I'll pull you in close then and we'll dig into this and see what the worms are doing. Okay, so this is how it pretty much was for the last two weeks. I had a sheet of newspaper over the top and I did have a uh, wetted uh, napkin or paper towel over the top of both of them. Now what's noticeable right off the bat, of course you can tell which side the uh, bedding is on that I make, and this side is a coconut coir. Now you can tell by looking at it that they've definitely been over the whole surface area. It's pretty smooth everywhere. But what's really noticeable is that, especially at this corner here, you can't really see that corner very well. This corner here is much deeper. It's really, really settled. Uh, so, so this area here is much lower, and actually the level of the, the this whole side in general is lower than the coconut coir side. It all slopes down to this other side now. So you can tell they've been working over this area here, and the area has been settling. So what I want to do is just dig into some of this and just see where the worms are. Um, we're going to do the coconut coir. Well, let's do a moisture first. I mean, when I dig into the coconut coir, I mean, it's still moist all the way down to the bottom. Uh, yeah, I mean, it feels moist. It feels cool and moist, not overly. Now, when I dig into this side, it's definitely moister. Uh, but I'm not going to say there's a huge difference. I mean, I actually thought there would be. I thought this side would be a lot more dried out, but, but it's not. I mean, it actually helped, especially having this on top. I think this helps a lot. I think on your, I'd recommend it on all your worm bins, uh, if, if you have a tendency for them to dry out, is put some wetted newspaper, uh, paper towels, and then some wetted newspaper on top of it. And it's really easy to mist it, just to, and it locks the moisture in really well. So anyway, yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, they're fairly close. The, the bedding side is definitely a little bit uh, moister than the coconut coir. But let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kind of go through this and see if I can find any worms. Now, 
I don't see any there. None. None. So, I'm going to say even though this is nice and moist over here, uh, it's not real popular with the worms here. I think I saw one here a second ago. I don't know where it went. So I'm going to say one is all I've seen so far. No, I mean, I, I don't see any worms. I'm down to the very bottom almost now. If there's going to be any worms, it's going to be at the very bottom. They tend to like the bottom and the corners of these things for sure. Now, interesting, I mean, there's, I mean, there's not a, basically a single solitary worm over here. I mean, I don't see one. Oh, I saw one, excuse me. I saw one. But, uh, no. I'm basically through all the coconut coir for the most part. Uh, it's going to start maybe a little bit more here. Yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of worms in here. I mean, there's quite a few worms in that tub. And I went through this whole section over here, even though it's a nice moisture content, not much difference between the two. We basically found zero worms on this side. So. Let me flip this around for I have somewhere to dump the stuff and uh, we'll go through the bedding side here. Kick all this coconut coir over into the thing. Let's take the first handful here and take a look. Okay, already I can start to see worms. There's pretty much worms throughout this thing. There you go again. More worms. So I think that even though there's a lot of coconut coir in this, the fact that I supplemented it with, uh, you can tell, and this is this particular bedding was actually the stuff I did the video on for uh, making bedding without a shredder. So everything that was in here was pretty much hand ripped. You can see the size of the uh, cardboard that's in here and the newspaper. I did sh uh, throw some shredded white paper in it. It was actually shredded because, again, I think that's so simple to uh, obtain. And somebody had sent a message on, uh, I think on YouTube or I don't know, Facebook, about, well, what if I can't get the white paper? Well, you don't need, I mean, you don't need to have shredded white paper. I mean, you can use a ton of different things. I mean, if you have horse manure and stuff available, I'd be using that. Maybe not for my indoor bins, but, uh, but, the fact I like pushing shredded white paper is the fact that we throw so much of it out. Uh, it's readily available all over the place, so I really try to use the stuff that I'm going to throw out. So uh, if you're making the bedding and you don't have white paper, you don't have to add it. The worms actually don't like the white paper all that much, but they will eat it mixed in with this stuff and it'll make wonderful bedding for them. So I, I think that it's pretty easy to draw a conclusion on this. that. Uh, if you put coconut coir out there all by itself, uh, the worms don't care for it at all. Uh, it's not good bedding all by itself. Uh, the worms will eat it eventually, but I, I think it's like the meal of last choice for them. So, uh, this is Tom from Mermaid Bag. Till next time, ciao.